During this section, we will be talking about some tools in Kali Linux that is very, very useful in penetration testing. Not just Android penetration testing, but any platform penetration, Windows, Android, Linux, anything. And one of the best tools that I'm going to start with is called the Netcat. A Netcat, we usually, we usually refer to the Hacker Swiss Army because of the amount of function and task it can execute. So we're going to see how to utilize Netcat and do not rush the result. I mean, later on, you're going to see how you can utilize this knowledge in different attack. So Netcat, the, it's a tool built in in Linux that can do many, many features. It can open a port, it can connect to a port, it can scan, it can transfer file between uh, different machines. So if you know how to utilize these tools, it will really facilitate your uh, penetration testing task. So le let's see how to use that. Let's start with the Kali Linux machine. I have here two machines. I have a Windows machine and a Linux machine. This Windows could be Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, whatever Windows. It's just this was the Windows that I have in front of me. But it doesn't matter what operating system you are using. In Linux, the Netcat is built in, while in Windows, it's an external tool. So let's open a terminal and let's see how to use Netcat. Netcat can be used by typing NC. Okay. And if you need to know the different switches that allow you to use Netcat, how to scan, how to open a port, just type Netcat uh, uh, minus help, sorry. And it will show you all the steps, or I'm sorry, all the switches that can be used, the usage of Netcat, and each switch is doing what, and so on. So let's take a small example about that. First, I want to show you that I already have a Windows Netcat. This is an external tool. I mean, it's not built in in Windows. In Linux, it's already built in. But in Linux, I download it from the internet. And I put it inside a folder here, uh, which was, uh, this is uh, Netcat. But to be able to use the Netcat from any place, from any command line, I'm going to copy this Netcat and put it inside the Windows folder. And by doing that, I can open a command prompt and use it right away. So we'll take first a small example of using Netcat. Then we're going to see how to utilize that in different way. This is the Windows folder. Let me copy the Netcat here, paste, to be able to use it from the command prompt. And then let's see. So here we have two different computers. The Linux computer IP is 192.168.1.109. And the Windows computer, uh, the, I'm sorry, the Windows computer is 109, while the Linux, Linux computer, I think it's 103, ifconfig. And as you can see, is I'm sorry, is 108. So let's uh, do a small example on how to utilize Netcat. So from the Windows machine, I'm going to type nc netcat minus... L, this is for listening. So I'm asking the Netcat to listen from a port. Then V, this is verbose. So everything will be clear while it's executing. And then P, which is the port number. And I can choose any port. In my case, I'm going to choose port 5555, for instance. And as you can see, he opened uh, a port 555 and he start listening and waiting for the connection and from my linux machine let me just clear the screen i can type nc and then the computer ip 192.168. sorry netcat and then 192.168.1.109 and the port number from where it will be connected because uh, what's going on here the windows machine opened a port which is 555 and this machine will connect through this port and one two three four and 
let's see what will happen it will take few seconds and here you go we have a connection between those two machine now just to test that we can just type anything here hi and it will show there and you can reply from here as well hi and it will do it's not about that you are doing that to type high and high but the thing is that you are able now to create a connection between those two computers. Later on, you can see how can you exchange file between them? How can you execute comment and so on? Another way for testing the, if the connectivity are there or not, if you open another terminal and you type net state, net state minus a n to verify that the connection took place, you should find the port which is 5555 it's very small but there so you should find a connection between the two machine 192.168.2108 it's just small so it's not easy to uh, check but it should be there especially check the established one okay the established connection so should be one of those yeah here you go so this is the one here you go now what i'm saying is here you go this is the one so it shows that there is a connection between those two computers through, pi through port 555. Now, how can we utilize that? Netcat can be utilized in different ways that we're going to see in different examples in the upcoming video. I can use Netcat to know some program, what program are running on different port or what protocol are running on different port. I can use Netcat to exchange file between those two computers. I mean, if I can upload an NC file, Netcat file, to any victim machine, I can use that to connect to his machine and, and transfer between those two devices, transfer files. I can use Netcat to execute command on remotely on different machine. So what I want you to know so far is how to use the basic command of Netcat. And during the upcoming lessons, you learn how to utilize that in a better way.